So this is the Microphone Madness, I believe, MMPSM microphone um, with the Sennheiser connector on it. And we've had this for a, a couple of months. It's, it's been through um, one and a half musical productions. And halfway through the second musical production, uh, the wire started pulling out of the um, connector here. And most of our mics are Countryman E6 ear sets. Uh, I've never really had a problem like this before. Um, what's nice about the Countryman is the cable that goes from the connector to the ear set is actually um, replaceable. And that is the n number one uh, component that fails. If you start getting popping or static, it, it'll either be the connection to here or the connection to here, and often just replacing the cable will fix the problem. You can also try using a little bit of contact cleaner on it. Anyway, so I'm not really happy about this. It claims to be just as good as Countryman. Um, it is half, roughly half the price at about 145 as opposed to 310 for a Countryman E6. At least that's what I pay at full compass. Um, the ear set itself is, it seems to be pretty durable, seems to be pretty adjustable. It does not, it, it's very thick though compared to the E6 ear set. And um, I thought at first I'd be excited that this would, would be a molded connector that doesn't come out uh, because it, 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 it wouldn't be something that would prone, be prone to getting dirt or moisture in it and failing. But, in retrospect, uh, having, being able to replace the cable would have allowed me to continue to use this mic during a production. Instead, I had to take it out and use a $72 VU uh, headset from Full Compass. And so far, both of the VU headsets have been through two productions and haven't had any problems, although I really can't recommend them. They have an odd, very long bend the thing in the back, and of course, again, it's all molded. One, the, the cable is, is not replaceable, so at some point they will fail. They might be good for kids' musicals, or uh, and I'm talking about the VU headset again, not the microphone madness, or spares, uh, being through only seventy-two dollars. The other problem I had with the microphone madness with this particular ear, ear set was on the Sennheiser pack when this is plugged in. The Sennheiser pack has a little uh, level meter, and you, you, what you do is you have the performer give you a, a level, or, or preferably even a, a, their loudest sound, while you're adjusting the sensitivity on the pack so that you're getting a lot of gain without peaking. Well, what's weird is that this microphone, uh, the, the, the bar on the body pack transmitter, would, would be would be steadily up. It wouldn't move as the actor made sounds, as if there was some kind of background noise. But, and yet, when you listen to the mic, you wouldn't hear any hiss or anything. So it's some kind of electrical incompatibility with uh, the Sennheiser body pack. Um, there's definitely more than meets the eye inside here. It looks like there's a little resistor in there. So there's something, something going on there, some kind of impedance matching. Yeah, it looks like there's a plastic insider in there. Maybe. That would be another concern if it wasn't. Let me see if I can go back to go. Hmm. I don't see any kind of plastic insulator in there, which means these connectors could conceivably be touching the body of the connector, which isn't good. Huh. Anyway, so I can't really recommend this uh, microphone for musical theater. Uh, if you want to go cheap, go with the VU. They're half the cost of the microphone to this mics, and they, they work better with the Sennheiser packs. Um, ideally, you want to get Countryman E6 ear sets. They're much more reliable, and when they do have a problem, it's very easy to swap out that cable. The cable's only $50, whereas the whole microphone is $310 with a cable. And the, the 
you know, you're going to get the best sound quality.